Uh, I mean, I don't know what little boy doesn't grow up dreaming about playing for his hometown team. Yeah. And so had an opportunity to grow up in the Chicagoland area, uh, play for the Chicago Bears, caught my shot, told my mom at the Taste of Chicago, my sophomore year of college, said, Mama, one day I'm going to play in that stadium. It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. Next to me, right there, Ray McElroy, former bear, in the car with me. How was golfing today? James, it was awesome. I mean, first of all, I can't believe I'm like on the radio in a car. This, this is a first for me. This is a first. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But golf was good. The weather held up for us. It was a little drizzle, um, but wasn't too bad. And I didn't lose too many balls. So if I don't uh, lose uh, a lot of balls, that's a win. You know, that's a win for uh -huh. me. I should mention Proviso West grad. Yes, sir. Hillside represent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Local boy. That's right. Oh, okay. You from Hillside? Well, no, I mean local to the in That's right. Greater Chicago That's right. Area. That's right. So let's jump around a little bit. As someone who grew up in the area, mm -hmm. what did it mean to you to be on the Bears team? Absolutely huge. Uh, I mean, I don't know what little boy doesn't grow up dreaming about playing for his hometown team. Yeah. And so had an opportunity to grow up in the Chicagoland area. Uh, play for the Chicago Bears, caught my shot, told my mom at the Taste of Chicago, my sophomore year of college, said, Mama, one day I'm going to play in that stadium. And you know how mama's out, oh, yeah, that's nice, baby, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> and I had an opportunity to do it. And then later on, I had the opportunity to serve the Bears as a team chaplain from 08 to 2012. It was just kind of a cherry on the on the Sunday. And started with the Colts? That's right. Was drafted in 95 by those guys, played for them for four years, then went to the Bears in 2000. Uh, what was the, what was playing with the Colts in the '90s like? So cool because uh, if you watch kind of Peyton Manning's story, I got to play with him his rookie year. Yeah, we were a part of kind of that front edge of the city transforming. Yeah, from a basketball town to a football town, and so my first two years, '95 and '96, if I'm not mistaken, are the first two years that the Indianapolis Colts franchise actually made it to the playoffs. Our team, my rookie year literally one play from going to the Super Bowl. And uh, I just found out, I don't know if you watch uh, NFL uh, Network, mm -hmm. um, they're doing right now the greatest, the 100 greatest. That game I'm talking about, 1995, uh, Colts versus Steelers, number 87 on <laughs> the top 100 all-time uh, game. So pretty cool game. You mentioned the, the chaplain work. I mean, you've basically committed to a life of social work and doing right, um, helping communities that and children who otherwise wouldn't get help or attention yeah talk about uh, that what was you know was blessed to um have the platform of professional athletics and i believe that uh it was a blessing from the lord and so because of that um i feel a a sense of duty uh, to utilize the platform for his glory and so um, every opportunity I get, I'm an associate pastor up in Central Christian Church. Uh, we have our own nonprofit, Array of Hope on Earth, uh, where we do youth development and professional athlete development. And so athletes want to help them better transition from the game. Uh, once the game is done with them, um, we uh, mentor in uh, three schools in the city of Chicago currently. Um, we work with middle school age boys. We've been doing it for the last five years. Um, it sounds like a lot of work. It is. It is. It's great, though. It's rewarding work. Um, there are a lot of needs out there. Sure. There are a lot of great organizations. We're just trying to do our part with the platform that the Lord has blessed us with to make a difference. What, what, are, some, what are some of those success stories, working, working with these kids, the things that when you go, go to bed at night mm -hmm. make you smile? So uh, one that comes to my mind immediately, uh, we had a young man come through our youth camps actually went to Proviso West High School uh, and was down to the last cuts of making the Chicago Bears this year, Mr. Jameer Thurman. And uh, just to be able to say that we were able to touch his life. And also, he came back this year and worked our youth football camp. And so uh, just a kind of real cool... It's paying uh, it forward. He's paying it forward, right? We had another young man. Um, his name is Vontrell Williams. Vontrell... I spoke at his middle school when he was an eighth grader. Then years later, uh, he came and worked 
my youth football camp that I had at Proviso West. And now he is the defensive line coach for Eastern Michigan University. Had a little bit of problems uh, in college, was at the University of Illinois. Yeah. We were able to kind of step in and help give him some guidance. And uh, I just did their chapel uh, when they played Illinois. And uh, he was able to stand in front of his entire team and just tell his team, you know, how much we have meant to him in his life. and and how we really helped him make a career decision as far as what he wanted to do. And now he's in a great place. They beat Illinois. And uh, sorry, lovey. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just really, really proud of him. So those are kind of just two off the top of my head of, man, this is what it's all about. Is lovey the Zen master of all Zen masters? <laughs> lovey is awesome. I love him. Um, what I just a, listen to the dude talk. Yeah. He is an amazing guy. Great to serve, uh, work for him. Uh, I know he's going to get that that program uh, where it needs to be eventually. So I'm really pulling for him down there. In Illinois. I think Levy Smith is the highest paid state of, state of Illinois employee. <laughs> that would make sense. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for doing this. Keep doing the good work you're doing. Yeah, James. I think it's pretty cool. Nice I inspirational it. stuff. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for watching.